My name is Miyoki Kano. I'm a surgical oncologist within the Division of Surgical Oncology in the Department of Surgery. So a surgical oncologist uh, is a, it's basically a, a cancer surgeon. So I do surgeries on different body parts. I do a lot of the intra-abdominal organ cancers, like colon cancer, stomach cancer, uh, and I also do other types of cancers like uh, melanoma, sarcoma, uh, gastrointestinal stromal tumor, and I also do other, um, not really a cancer per se, a condition called peritoneal carcinomatosis, which is spread of cancer to the lining of the inner organs, and it does require a special training and also a special equipment to do that procedure where we administer heated uh, chemotherapy into the abdominal cavity. So we are not just surgeons, so we do what the general surgeons do technically, but we are also familiar with different types of chemotherapy, radiation, and then we work very closely together with the oncologists and the radiation oncologists. Another really striking thing about stomach cancer in Hispanics is that it affects patients at a much younger age in their 40s and 50s, and that's also for unknown reasons. So it's a very difficult cancer to treat and diagnose, uh, and mostly to diagnose because it's a and, and just like many other cancers, it's a silent disease. So especially in the early stage of, of stomach cancer, most people do not have any symptoms. So unfortunately, when people, by the time when they have symptoms, the tumor tends to be either really, really large or it can be even metastatic in stage four at that time. And there is no screening exam for, for stomach cancer. There, you know, there has to be much better prevention as well as the diagnostic modality for Hispanics because we know that those people are at higher risk. I think my my job, uh, and I actually don't see it as a job, but what I do uh, is is very special, um, especially being a surgeon and being a, a, a cancer surgeon, is I have the both technical ability and the opportunity to take care of patients at their most vulnerable stage. One, they're under general anesthesia and, and these patients trust me with their lives. And it's uh, it's pretty incredible when they come into my office, to my clinic with diagnosis of cancer, and then the moment that they leave the operating room, they're cancer free. So it's uh, it's it's pretty incredible the impact that I get to have in these patients. And also the role that surgical oncology has is not just for cure, but we offer surgery called palliative surgery is to take care of symptoms. So even those patients who um, who are stage four, who may not necessarily have cure per se, they may come in with intestinal blockage or bleeding or, or pain or some, some other symptoms that if I can help in any way by performing surgery, then, then that's something that I would offer, offer those patients. So it's not just cure, but there are many, many different ways that the surgical oncology specialty can help patients